Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Queer Games Tech Air, or whatever it's called. Uh, I'm Luke. I'm a game dev. I'm here to play through uh, indie queer games as part of the Queer Games Festival, taking screenshots um, and just to kind of put them through their paces a bit and you know show the world how cool they are. If you really want to know why queer games are great, I give a little essay in some of the other episodes. Um, but I just want to get into it today because um, I think we have a real treat. Because uh, normally I know nothing about the games or the game devs who, who enter their games in the festival. And I kind of prefer to keep it that way because I, I love to just let the games speak by themselves. Um, but I've been doing this for a few years now. Uh, and it's unavoidable that you get to learn a little bit about some of the devs. Water. Or perhaps more accurately to say, you see a few of their games and you begin to recognize when someone's style. And today we have Casting Hearts, which um, is by a dev called uh, MPCKC. I guess I, I want to say Naomi, but I've got nothing to back that up with. I think they're like a Japanese developer. Uh, and they've been a friend of the festival, I think, since the very first year. I think they had a game in the very first year of the festival, like five or six years ago. Um, and I, they've had a game in pretty much every year since then. And it's always a complete highlight because they're just a developer that's very thoughtful and very polished. And then they've got a unique style that just is glorious, really. Um, and so this is their game this year. And so let's get into it. It's called Casting Hearts. I mean, beyond that, I know nothing about it. I, nothing about it except that it's going to be super cute and thoughtful. Start. And, the, and it runs on Linux, which is, unfortunately you can't say that about every game. Crystal ball, check. Spells, check. Okay, I think I have everything set up now. Just need to sit myself down. Oh, there it is, the classic graphics. Oh, so gorgeous. I love... Um, I've only got a few tricks in my, like... <laughs> critical eye bag and one of them is like oh look at the color palette but here look at the color palette again ah oh, gorgeous okay let's set this up okay hey ginger i'm just going to talk until you respond so i know you can hear me not sure what to talk about hmm it's been a week since we last called right nothing much has happened since then been holed up inside as usual mostly i just oh cry a lot by myself wish i could meet up study for exams um, another witch-themed game. I mean, uh, this dev does, I think, sort of magical realism is, is sort of their world a little bit. Not always, though. They do contemporary. I guess it's one of the things I really liked about their games in the past, just sort of little slices of modern day life. Um, but there are a lot of witch games this year in the festival, I think. Uh, there are a lot of angel games. I thought there's, there's a trend of angel games. But this year, I'm also going to say... There's a lot of witch games. Maybe there's always witch games, but it seems um, it seems to have sort of really flowered this year. Cry a lot by myself. Wish I could meet up. Study for exams. Oh. Um, well, let's be proactive. I just want to meet up with you and other people again. In person. I mean, this is a pandemic game, I think. Crystal Ball chats are better than nothing, but like, it's just not the same. I don't want to complain about this too much. I know things could be worse. Oh, that phrase right there, I think, is the is the phrase of the pandemic. If you're watching this in the future and you either have forgotten it or like you never lived it, <laughs> everybody was just well. I want to say they weren't walking around. Everyone was sitting on their couch <laughs> or at their desk, and in every conversation, they'd always say, "I don't want to complain about it because I know things are a lot worse for other people." <laughs> but you know, being locked in your house. Is really tough. Just because you're having a difficult time doesn't, just because other people have a difficult time doesn't invalidate you having a difficult time, I guess. Even though other people were having it much tougher. Case has been going up here again, so I've been trying to avoid going out unless I have to. Um, I guess you still can't hear me since you haven't responded yet. Good thing you didn't hear me, to be honest. Just listening to myself is making me sad, and I'm the one saying it. It's so true. 
I say I hope things are better. Oh, I've got to work on my microphone technique. Okay, let's do this. I've been traumatized in previous years by my microphones just slowly, the cables just slowly breaking. And so now I don't like to leave this one hanging because I'm like all that extra weight from the cable is surely doing the exact same thing. But it's a real hassle to like snip it to my shirt. Oh, that's not secure at all. It needs a clip, not just this little bit of plastic. It needs a clip clip. There we go. Okay. Ah, now I'm being strangled by it. That's wizard. Okay, I say... Th yes, I've seen the news. Things are pretty awful everywhere, I guess. I'm definitely running out of things to say that aren't really depressing, so I hope you can hear me soon. I really... I thought during the pandemic, I thought 18 months, two years after the pandemic, there's going to be this glut of, like, pandemic art, like movies, TV shows, books, just set during the pandemic, and I'm going to hate it. But now that we're here even though the pandemic's still kind of bubbling along. Even though now we're here and you're seeing a bit more art that's like pandemic art, I'm okay with it because I'm kind of like... It's nice to see it kind of being incorporated into the like that tapestry of art that every generation tells about itself. Like, you know, when they show the sediment layers of rock, and they go, well, that was the Ice Age, or that's where the asteroid hit, um, or that's where there was a big bushfire that burnt half the planet, that brought, burnt Gondwana land, all right. I kind of look at the art from, like, the 40 years, 20 years before this, 20, 40 years after this, and there's, like, this one layer that's like, oh, that's when the pandemic was on. Ah. Hey, I can hear you, Marge, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but I can't seem to see you. Can you see me? This is very Zoom. <laughs> this is very video chat. Start of the pandemic. I can see you fine. You can't see me at all. The The conceit of this game, that they're using crystal ball to duplicate Zoom, is pretty clever. Nope, nothing's showing up. Hmm, maybe I did something wrong. It's probably on my end. I got a new crystal ball yesterday. And it's the first time using it. Give me a moment so I can respell everything. <laughs> oh, screenshot. Super cute. How's this? I can see you now. Oh, oh good. I was worried I have to drag my old ball out of the closet or something. This new one's really nice. I can see it and hear you super clearly. I was going to say I'd love a crystal ball to be able to talk to people, but I guess we actually literally have video phones in our pockets. Like, if I really wanted to see someone, I could just video call them right now. Which which made me think, I've, like, if I had unlimited time, I would be getting the devs on to Queer Games Heck Yeah, or I'd invite them on, just to talk about their games for five minutes. Because um, I think that would mix up, that would mix it up as well. Because, you know, I don't know about you, but these are very samey-samey sometimes. Um, but I've just got to be realistic about the amount of time I've got. I've just got things to do, people. Ah, but yeah, wouldn't it be nice to have the dev here, just talking pandemic? You didn't really have to cut your hair, though. Or crystal balls. Alright, I kind of chopped it off on a whim. Yes. It looks great. Short hair suits you. I have a friend, and he's a bit, um... He's a bit precious about his hair. Like, he's got a good head of hair. There's no denying. Um, but he's well aware of it. Um, and he says some unkind things about my... I'm not too upset about being bald. Uh, but I... Like, I don't love having it pointed out as, in a, as a bad thing. That's that's the bit that annoys me. Because, you know, because like, I don't see it as a bad thing. So I kind of try to be, uh, feel bad about it annoys me. And he does a little bit of that every so often. But during the pandemic, all the hairdressers were closed. And he was like, <laughs> his hair was slowly driving him insane. And so he came around, we got the clippers out, and we shaved his head. Um, and he looked good. He looked really good with it. But, I mean, you know, it was a desperation move for him. <laughs> I'm not saying I, I got too much glee out of it. <laughs> uh, but it was a weird time, that's for sure. It looks great. Short hair suits you. Thanks. It's definitely less of a hassle to wash, at least. 
Right, um, now now that we're both here, throw confetti, go make it rain hearts. Go sparkles. I say I say we lean into that we really like this person, that we really like Ginger. Hearty birthday, Ginger. Oh, Marge, that is so cute. I've spelled something up so that I can share my magic with you through the crystal wall. Whoa, that's so cool. How'd you do that? A lot of research. Ha, ha, ha. And there's more where that came from. Oh, I just read that out loud without actually re without reading it. Got to focus. I'm just thinking about shaving my friend's head. <laughs> just you wait. This is going to be the best birthday date ever. <laughs> I'm excited already. You wouldn't tell me anything about it. I wanted it to be a surprise. Speaking of, I've got a package today in the mail from you. Oh, I'm so glad it actually got there. Okay, we're now kind of... We're leaning very heavily on Ginger. Can I open it? Of course, I want to hear what you think. Oh, okay then, let's see. Wow, I've been waiting this flask... I've been wanting this flask set for ages, thank you. You think I didn't know? You've been talking about wanting new flasks for months now. And you only mentioned how much you like this set, maybe a dozen or so times. Okay, so maybe I wasn't super subtle about it. Let me know your thoughts after you've made a few potions. I'll send you pictures. I'm looking forward to it. But that's for later. It's time to start your birthday date. We haven't started already? Well, technically, yes, but I mean the actual fun parts. Oh, so we actually are dating. Okay, I thought there was just another one of those sort of, you know, they're friends at the start and you harbor a secret love for them and then you can't admit it to yourself or to them. Talking to you is fun though. You know what I mean. Yeah, I do. So what have you got planned? Okay then. Oh, Ooh, should we take a... Ooh, I brought dessert. Should we take a walk? Time to play a game. It's too early for dessert. I like that maybe we've got something cool lined up for walking. Inside our rooms? Because that would be a great day plan. No, I have something a bit different in mind. This is, this is magic. Ooh. There. Virtual background. <laughs> wow, we're at the sea. I remember a while back you said you want to take a vacation, right? We can't really travel now, but I thought I'd try to capture the experience at least. You remember that's sweet of you. Where have you whisked me away to, dear Marge? So is it night time there? Because the moon's up. But, you know, the moon's up during the day. Um... <laughs> The distant shores of Woodwile, only an hour's broom ride from the school, actually. Oh, I've always wanted to go. Let's go together when I'm done with my study abroad. Sounds like you're a plan. What are we going to do at the shores of Woodwile today, then? I thought we could do go on a little seaside walk. All right, do you need me to do anything? Just give me a moment to focus. Okay. Now just imagine <laughs> seagulls soaring above. <laughs> Um, a whale saying hello, that'd be cool. Sorry if I blew out your eardrums then, with my terrible seagull. Um, oh, I can't go past the whimsy of a whale saying hello. Oh, see what I mean about the art style? It's sort of this 1960s to 90s kind of... Uh, like, kids' book kawaii style. Like, you remember that rabbit? <laughs> you know, the rabbit, with the ears. And the eyes. Uh, no, I don't. I don't remember it. I don't remember its name. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a whale before. Well, this isn't a real whale, so you still haven't seen one. <laughs> Marge, don't ruin the moment. Yeah, sorry. Whales are cool though. They're so big and majestic. Maybe we can go whale watching sometime then. I went whale watching recently. We saw some whales in the distance. They didn't really come. They didn't really come out to play that day. No, I'm not. I'm not clicking on the seagull thing. Lying on the grass with flowers all around. Oh. Oh, Marge, those flowers are so lovely. What kind of flowers are they? No idea, to be honest. Sorry, I've never been good with plants. Hey, it's fine. That's what you have for me. Yeah, yeah. The only reason I passed my potions final last year. We played a game earlier in Queer Games, heck yeah, where you were doing your potions final. And you were helping your friend get through it. And we... We. I didn't play it very well, and our friend kind of never spoke to us again. Were they even our friend, you know? But I suspect there was a way you can navigate that. I like this. I like the synergy here. Like, maybe that was part one, 
the prequel and this is the the sequel like like all the games in the festival are actually just about the one character oh no no that's not possible <laughs> gosh i remember that teaching you the differences between mugwarts over crystal ball was really hard i still think they should have given the plants different names if they're not the same now just imagine no no not seagulls <laughs> Seagulls soaring above us, swooping in, trying to steal our sandwiches. Whoa, it really is like at the sea. But without the trouble of real seagulls, which like to eat your food, they really do. I mean, they're just really... they've got no shame. Ah, uh, yeah, I had a burger stolen from me once. Yeah. I had a... I, had a, I was eating my salad outside work by the, by the harbour shore. And I was just watching the seagull, and it was watching me, and then it just swooped in and, like, kind of, kind of, gr like, kind of grabbed the whole thing, but didn't get it. And I was just like, is this, like, now lice infested? <laughs> but I ate it anyway. Whole burger. But it would have got the whole salad if it could have. Oh, such a cheeky bird. I'm still annoyed about it. Yeah, I promise these magic seagulls won't do any food snatching. Now, just imagine, holding hands as we walk. Oh, this is sweet. I'm loving this kind of, like, they're walking us through a date. I don't think I've ever kind of seen that, that sort of, like, that structure. Aren't you going to spell something? Oh, sorry. The truth is, I was thinking about, like, spelling a turnip or something, so that if I gripped it, it'll let you know I gripped it. So that it'd be kind of like holding hands. But when I tested it out, it just made me feel really lonely. Oh, Marge. It's okay. We can hold hands again when we meet up in person. You're right. Until then, you'll have to make do with my silly magic walks. I really enjoyed this one. Let's do it again. The spell... I'll spell up another location for next time, then. But first, it's time for the next part of your birthday date. Let me undo the location spell. Ah. Oh, gorgeous. I love that... I love that transition. We're back. You always so good at you always were so good at creating spells. Thanks, Ginger. Okay then, time to play a game. I thought we could play a game. A game? That sounds fun. Should I set everything up on my end? Is it Catan? Are they about to play virtual Catan? Nope. Just let me set some stuff up. Call of Duty. I was thinking we could play a word game. Ooh, how would we do that? You know, that game where you come up with words and start with the last letter of the previous word? Actually, I don't know it. You know that game where you come up with words that start with the last letter? Right, okay. The rules are that the word has to match the theme and words can't be repeated. Okay, like a word chain. I played this a lot as a kid on long trips. Okay, I like this game. Sorry, it's a boring game. I was having trouble thinking of something we could play over a crystal ball. <laughs> I don't think it's boring. Let's try it, Marge. What's the theme for the words? I was thinking we could do words related to birthdays. And if you win, I'll send you an extra present through the post. I don't know. Marjorie's doing all the work. Ooh, wait. What happens if I lose? Well, I'll still give you the present, but only the next time we see you see me in person. Heh, <laughs> okay. I'm okay with that too. <laughs> Can I start? Of course. Okay, then. My first word is icing, like icing on a cake. Wait, give me a moment. I think I messed something up. Gee, so what would be a, a gift? G for gift. Let's see. Uh, let's see, everything's fine now. Okay. Whoa, I can see the word I said. Surprised? I spelled that up earlier. This is so cool and not boring at all. <laughs> Time for me to think up a word though. Oh, uh, gift. Too easy. Like a birthday gift. That works. Oh, so T. Um, uh, whoo, what starts with T and is birthday related? T tinsel? Hmm. T turmeric? No. <laughs> this is really hard. All right, I'm out. I'm out already. I'm terrible at games. Toy. Nah. That's a stretch. I think I got it. 
I like how Marge is like furiously casting spells, trying to get this working. Okay, why? Um, for gifts. This is embarrassing. I'm so bad at this. Y you, mm. Mm. you, because it's your birthday is always about you. Hmm. Well, let's keep going. Okay, now I need the West Side Spy. Oh, yeah. Yellow? Yellow. Yeah, okay. Because both days come over here. That's a good one. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. A word that starts with R, huh? Hmm. <laughs> we'll put your suggestions on the back of a postcard and send it to me. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Re hmm. Remembering? Maybe, got one. I'm going to go with Ribbon, because you use them to wrap birthday presents. That's good. <laughs> if it's not working, that's okay. No, it's fine. I can fix this. Ah, there it is. Okay. N for new, because it's like, you know, it's a new year for you personally. It's my turn again now. What's the word that starts with N? Noodle? North? Norbert? Noodle. Noodle? Uh, food? The food? Yeah, um, because you can eat noodles on your birthday. That's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, I knew it as I said it. I just couldn't think of anything else. Does that mean I win? Yep, the extra prison is yours. Let me just clear the spell then. Well, now it works. Gah. There, all done. Oh, I like saying the words. That was a really cute game, Marge. Thanks. Pretty sure you just didn't lose on purpose to let me win the present? I didn't. Magicking this up is honestly pretty exhausting. <laughs> oh, Marge, you didn't have to tire yourself out for this. It's fine, Ginger. I wanted to. And I'm excited to send you your extra present, too. Ooh, what is it? A surprise, obviously, for when it arrives. Can I get a hint? No. Not even a little one? No. Please? The answer is still no. Ask again, and I'm not going to send it. <gasps> no, I want my present. <laughs> I'm kidding. But anyway, I still have more planned. Not even a teeny clue? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> okay, next. Marge, huh? You're not overdoing it with the magic, are you? No, what? No, I'm fine, totally. I like the idea that she's now like half a skeleton. <laughs> I'm fine! <laughs> are you sure? I'm fine, Ginger. I just want you to know that this date has already been really fun, okay? So, like, don't deplete your magic too much. I said I'm fine, Ginger, really. I'm fine! Alright. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay, then. Um, I brought dessert. Let's chat. Uh, the thing is, we've only got half an hour. So... Let's go dessert. Okay. I brought dessert for both of us. Huh, sorry. I think I only got the one package from you. I can go check again, though. Huh, sorry. I should have phrased that better. I think it'll be easy to show you. I got, I got two desserts, but they're here, so I'm eating them myself. Oh, that's nice. That's a cool effect. Marge? Everything's fine, I just... Ugh, why is... what? What's wrong? Nothing, I've got everything under control. Oh, did we remove ourselves from existence again? So you don't have to worry about me, or... <laughs> Cool, this glitch effect. Sorry, Ginger, just kind <laughs> We've broken the game. Just stop, it's okay. Breathe, Marge. Just breathe, in and out. Yep, just like that. You're doing great. Everything's fine. You're doing better? Yeah, sorry about that. You overdid it with your magic? Yeah, sorry. I know you, you don't like it when I... I don't like it because I worry about you, Marge. I know, sorry. I just haven't been doing that great lately. Oh, before all this happened, I'd been planning to fly over to see you during your study abroad. I'd taken broomstick lessons and everything. Marge. But obviously that's impossible now, but I still wanted to make to make your birthday something special. And I really didn't want to break down like this on your birthday. This has been a lot. Marge, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. It's my fault for hiding it. I just didn't want you to worry. Marge, you know I... I know. Sorry, I'll tell you next time. Sorry to ruin your birthday cake. What? No, it was lovely. A lot of apologies in this game. Thanks, Ginger. We can talk tomorrow, okay? For now, I want you to lie down and recover your magic. 
but I still march. Okay, we can chat again anytime, okay? Maybe you can tell me about that present. So there's no need to overwork yourself like this. Ginger, yes Marge? I really miss you. Oh, I miss you too. Uh, but it's now the time to mention that I've met someone at my study abroad location. And they're way better at magic than you. <laughs> and I don't force seagulls in my face. No, no, Ginger would never do that. They're really into Marge. Okay, get some sleep now so that we can chat again soon, okay? All right, night Ginger, and thanks. Night Marge, rest well. Rest well end. Okay, we got one ending. I think that implies there are other endings. NPC, KC. I wanna say KC, because I think the NPC is like non-player character, right? So we just say KC. Uh, music by a name I cannot pronounce. My apologies. Thank you for playing. Names are my one weakness. And work is my other one weakness. Right, that was Casting Hearts. Uh, super sweet, uh, super contemporary. Like, this is what I love about this dev, KC. Um, the games are extremely accurate slices of life, in my opinion. Um, and even though, and so when I saw this one was set like in a witch's world, I was a bit like, oh, this is a, this is a bit of a departure. Not a, su a huge departure, but a little bit. Um, but at the core of it was a super real experience, you know, trying to date during the pandemic. Um, yeah, I just really love this dev. They're always just super polished gems, really heartfelt, really honest. Uh, Etc. Etc. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, I absolutely recommend um, checking out the back catalogue of KC. Like all their games are on itch, um, and it is just hit after hit after hit. They're actually probably one of the the best uh, queer devs going around for sure. Because um, it's there's consistency and there's so they're not just like a large body of games, but consistent quality of games. And I think that consistency is what makes, pushes a dev from good to great, you know, when they continually deliver. Because I think everybody can make one or two great games. <laughs> but can you make like eight great games as KC's done? Well, actually, I don't know how many, let's check. Excuse me while I just look at KC's homepage, NPC KC. Um, a pet shop after dark, a hero in a garden, Mima and Nina's chocolate, a year of springs. That's if you only could play one of one of their other games. A year of springs, I think, is probably really good. Little boats of farewell is great. Um, Tong Young, Tong Young, is is pretty good. A tavern for tea, classic, classic. One night hot springs. Um, yeah, just. This is somebody who just makes games, and you know, and has a really good. I don't know what you call it. They've just got a really good vibe on all the games. I've I've spent too long. I was I had it wrapped up neatly with a little ribbon, a little bow, to say see you later, but I just had to go on a little thing about how much how good the dev is. But that's not a crime. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time on Queer Games, heck yeah! Oh no, how do I turn this off? <laughs>